Good morning, Britain. The pride of England. The Lionesses aim for a roaring success as they go head to head with Holland in the Euro semi final showdown tonight. Russia accuses the US of declaring a full scale trade war after Congress defies President Trump to impose sanctions against Moscow. Scrapping the service charge, almost three quarters of us want it removed from restaurant bills, but with one in ten too tight to tip, would waiting staff lose out? And the Oscar-winning blonde bombshell Charlize Theron reveals why she's not holding anything back in her new spy thriller. I figured if we're going to start, why not finish it? Like, oh. Let's go all the way. Thursday, 3rd of August, 2017. Live from ITV Studios in London. This is Good Morning Britain with Ben Shepherd and Kate Garraway. Good morning. Stop talking. We were just chatting. Catching it's like, up. It's like, it's like working with Dory from Finding Nemo. Honestly. Well, just because I've forgotten you. You've forgotten me. Yeah. I've been gone for a couple of weeks and you've forgotten me. You look very it, well. You look very the, tan. It's the facial hair. He's come in disguise. That's taken about six months, It's my months, cloaking Richard. device. Don't be fooled. Yeah. It's my cloaking device. I've been working very hard, as you can tell, on my growth, which has been apparently rubbish. Uh, but I did, I did some great advice from an Italian waitress on Tuesday night. I was out with, with my co having dinner. No, uh, Martina, uh, I thank Martina for her beard advice. She said, you've got to stick with it. It might look rubbish now, but her boyfriend's always did. It will get better. Oh, OK. So I thought that was, you know, that's good advice. But thanks for saying you look rubbish. <laughs> it's better. A couple of They've months. They've been together 25 years. <laughs> <laughs> it's finally looking good. But the thing did is... Did you right, ask her about tipping, Ben Shepherd? Because that's what we're talking about this she, morning. We, yeah, we did talk about that, actually, because tipping's this big issue at the moment, or people start to talk about it. And, and she was a fantastic waitress, and we did give a very generous tip. Is it uh, different on the continent to here? Uh, I'm not sure. I didn't talk about her waitressing experience in Italy. No. Uh, necessarily. But she okay. did say it's, it's often quite controversial because people aren't sure whether they add stuff to a bill if it's service charge included or whether they want to leave cash down for the waitress themselves or the waiter indeed depending on how it's gone i'd I'm love just, to know your thoughts on that I've just been in the states they add 20 percent or they wow. want 20 percent to the bill it's the idea as well though in america that waiters and waitresses and barmen aren't paid as well yeah. as a standard rate so they expect the money they to be tucked up by minimum tips. minimal wage two dollars yeah. three dollars an hour and they make oh. the rest in tips let us know if you so are we're talk, yeah we're talking about stuff. that this morning do you get annoyed when it's automatically added should you tip in cash? Do you, Do you put feel it on uncomfortable the card? Do you as feel well? Awkward? Not knowing how much to add. Mm. Uh, but I, I have to say, Alex has got his hand up. You, got, you may talk I've, about, I've got a big tip. What, okay. what, umbrellas? You should shave your beard off. No, no, there's no, only no, room for one bearded person on the show. Don't give me grief, because that's a proper beard, though, isn't it? <laughs> that's, that's probably a few, few hours' growth for you. You shaved yeah, on the way in this I morning. I shave and it grows back over. <laughs> it's, a, it's a nightmare. That's I had a lovely about. holiday. And I've come back, and it was nice weather when I left, and it's absolutely ruinous at the moment. I know, I saw you raining, uh, sorry, raining or running, running in, in the, the rain. rain. <laughs> You've got Yesterday. no choice. Is, the, is it a washout? Is always the washout? It's not going to, I don't think it will be a washout, but at the moment, the problem is, is that the jet stream is just too far south. So that's basically blocking all the lovely hot air from southern parts of Europe from coming up. Yeah. And it's allowing all the areas of low pressure to come over the Atlantic. So we're getting weather front after weather front. So at the moment, we're in a bit of a showery regime, but today is going to be a bit better. A few heavy showers, but there will be some spells of sunshine. Okay. So it's going to get a little bit better, but we can't be... A bit better, not completely better. There's no sign of a heat wave just yet, I'm afraid. Okay. A little better, but not completely better. A bit like my beard, really, isn't it? <laughs> Patchy in places. Yeah. <laughs> well, let's hope it's not the case for the England women's football no. team. Our main news this morning is that they are preparing to meet the Netherlands tonight in the European Championship semi-final. And for the squad, also known as the Lionesses. It's a chance to make history. Yeah, if successful, uh, they will face the prospect of the final and the likelihood or potential likelihood of becoming the first senior England team to win a major tournament since 1966. Did you know we won the World Cup in 1966? I was there. <laughs> <laughs> that was me it. running onto that pitch. <laughs> Our correspondent Jonathan Swain is in the Dutch town of Enschede where the match will happen a little bit later on. Morning to you, Jonathan. I'd imagine there's going to be a fervent atmosphere later because, of course, Holland are the hosts. Uh, Mark Sampson saying that this is the best chance of success we've ever had. 